altruism is a monstrous notion. It is the morality of cannibals devouring one another. It is, it is a theory of profound hatred for men. I seem to have competition here. I'll let you go first. You're an atheist. Yes. <laughs> I could do the same to you, you know. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Since you're the host, I won't say it, but in other circumstances, I would say I don't approve of religion. I recognize your right to it, but... Yeah, you don't approve of religion because? Because it's mystical, because it's based on faith not on reason, reason and facts. So, so for you, but not for others, okay, what do you care? Somebody wants to worship a Christmas tree or a uh, telephone pole, that's their business. I, I wouldn't stop them legally. I said I grant them the right to uh, uh, believe anything they want, but I don't have to approve. And the question was, I would say, you know, <laughs> add them. Yeah. But I would never pass any laws to stop them. Yeah. What are the greatest hangs you find that young people have today? I suppose guilt, anxiety, uh, would be... A, there's a fly buzzing around mm -hmm. here. And maybe it's protesting. <laughs> <laughs> Protest? Reverend Ike's statement about the poor is as follows. The best way to help the poor is not to be one of them. So you must be encouraged by Mr. Carter's uh, response to his own feelings. I, I see, I think his smile is genuine, don't you? No. I, I think... <laughs> I think it's conditioned. He, he now, if you watch him, he smiles when he's saying something serious. And it's almost like, like a nervous reaction, you know. Mm -hmm. He just smiles. As far as the feminist movement is concerned, I am a male chauvinist, proudly. And the uh, Russians will say, no, there isn't such a thing as a soul or a mind. There's only your body. It's materialism. They mm -hmm. believe that you're not a man, but a collection of atoms. And give that body to the state for the collective effort of the... That's right. Mm -hmm. For the good of the whole and sacrifice to the state. And whoever says it is or wants to be the state. <laughs> Do you believe that there is going to be a day where there's going to be a female in the White House as president... And how, how do you feel about that? I wouldn't vote for her. <laughs> you would or wouldn't? Would not. You would not? No. But uh, let us say, assuming that women have been treated unfairly, you don't fight an evil by adopting it and practicing well, it. Well, what should they do? Be nice little girls and not say anything and stay home and break bread? No. Uh, well, what should they do? Should Go they... into any career of their choice except longshoremen, or professional football player, as they're trying today, and fight for their career as every man has to fight. Would you fight for anything? How did I get here? <laughs> I will not answer anyone who is impolite, but to show you... She wasn't impolite. I do not sanction impoliteness, and I am not the what? victim of hippies. But... Hippie. That's where it started. The, the, in what? the dropping of politeness and of manner. Oh, a good, vigorous exchange of views between two people who care and have differing positions is one of the most instructive uh, things that can happen I would in a living room or on television. I would love to see an honorable adversary, but I've stopped hoping for it. Uh, Ayn Rand will be back in a moment. <laughs>